to the newsroom now with Shane McGowan. The health service executive has confirmed a second case of the coronavirus variant Omicron in Ireland. At a briefing, the HSE said other potential cases were being examined and more cases would be found. It would become dominant. Our health correspondent, Fergal Barris. A second confirmed case of the Omicron variant of concern has been identified in Ireland, the HSE said this evening. Dr. Colm Henry, Chief Clinical Officer, said that other potential cases are being investigated and there will be further cases. HSC Chief Paul Reid told a COVID media briefing that Omicron will become dominant here. Separately, the HSC has said it has not decided on the optimal way to deliver the vaccination programme for 5 to 11 year olds. It may be through some dedicated vaccination centres for children and existing vaccination routes. The HSC said it will be a complex task to identify the priority groups as recommended by the National Immunisation Advisory Committee. Vaccination of 5 to 11 year olds is not expected to get underway in full until January. The first paediatric doses of the vaccine are expected to arrive here <coughs> next week. The Fisher Michal Martin has stated that he cannot say for certain that further COVID-19 restrictions won't be needed before Christmas. He said government would have to follow what is happening with the new variant across the UK and Europe. The Fisher also apologised after a number of people did not get a booster vaccine after queuing at a walk-in clinic at UCD this morning. Our political correspondent Michal Laham. The Fisher said the coalition would always listen to public health advice and then make decisions. He said the new variant was challenging, but the early signs are that it is more infectious, but it may not be as damaging from a disease perspective. Again, he said the key metric would be admissions to hospitals and ICUs. However, in relation to international travel, the Taoiseach said Ireland would align itself with the EU, and he pointed out that the World Health Organization is not advocating travel restrictions right now, despite the challenges posed by the virus. He said travel restrictions generally are not the direction of travel right now. Michal Martin repeated his call on people to get booster vaccines and he said there was now a greater sense of urgency about this. As regards the large numbers turned away from a vaccination clinic in UCD in Dublin this morning, the Taoiseach said of course the government apologises for that. The government has announced a package of financial supports for businesses affected by the latest COVID-19 restrictions, including a reversal of a planned cut to the employment wage subsidy scheme for the next two months. The announcement has been welcomed by the hospitality sector. The Restaurants Association of Ireland said it was the correct decision given the severe losses its members were incurring while abiding by public health advice. Our political correspondent, Paul Cunningham. In the run-up to today's announcement, the government said any financial supports required to offset the impact of new COVID-19 restrictions would have to be targeted to the companies which have been hit the hardest. In the event the government has found, devising such a strategy would be very complicated, very costly and very slow. It's now been decided to extend the EWSS until the end of January at November rates, extending the CRSS to the same date to help nightclubs and discos, and the commercial rates waiver has been extended until the end of March 20. 2022. Finance Minister Pascal Donoghue said speed was a vital factor in their bid to help the hospitality sector. Public Expenditure Minister Michael McGrath said keeping employees on the books was an important dimension to the strategy. The announcement has been welcomed by the hospitality sector, with the Vintners Federation of Ireland saying the reversal of the EWSS cut will mean keeping staff in their jobs through the festive period, which is hugely important. Paul Cunningham, RT News, Government Buildings. And we've had a further update. The Department of Health said that five additional cases of the Omicron variant have been detected in Ireland. It brings to six the total number of cases that have been identified following a whole genome sequencing. The department also said that 4,022 new cases of COVID-19 were reported in Ireland today. This morning, 530 patients with the disease were in hospital, including 115 in intensive care. The annual rate of inflation rose to 5.3% in November, its highest level since June 2001. The latest figures from the Central Statistics Office show the biggest increases were in the cost of transport, electricity and gas bills. Our economics correspondent, Robert Short. This period of intense inflation is not over yet. 
even if the pace of increase has slowed somewhat. The annual rate of inflation rose from 5.1% in October to 5.3% in November, its highest rate in 20 years. Energy prices remain the chief culprit. Electricity, gas and other fuels are up 29% on an annual basis. Higher rents, running at just over 8% a year, have had an impact too. Petrol and diesel are up 27.5%, while transport costs, boosted by a big jump in airfares, are up 28%. And while the cost of eating out is up 2% and hotels are up 22%, food price inflation remains relatively subdued at just under 1%. Legislation capping rent increases at 2% per year in rent pressure zones has passed both houses of the Uricus. In a statement, the Minister for Housing, Dara O'Brien, welcomes the passing of the Residential Tenancies Bill 2021. The new law also provides for tenancies of unlimited duration, a key reform committed to under the government's Housing for All plan. The bill now goes to President Michael D. Higgins for signing. The new cap will operate only when general inflation is higher than 2%. RTE Radio 1 weather with Grant. Heat your home efficiently with the Grant Uflex Underfloor Heating System. Think heating, think Grant. Visit grant.eu.